big and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Man. Recommend, recommend. A little bit of information about it. This is What's up YouTube, back with another video. Today I want to research a product that I recently bought, something that many of us buy all the time, but we've probably bought one because we went the cheap route. Well this time I decided to spend a little bit more money on this product and I actually ended up with a product that was pretty good, I must say. And so because of that, I want to, uh, to go over this item with you because I know there isn't any reviews online that I could find. Um, besides the reviews on Amazon, but I'm talking about video wise. I couldn't find any and Also because I know there's plenty of you guys out there that buy these and if you like me you probably bought something within the 20 30 dollar range at most it lasts a few months six months at the most and then it just starts to deteriorate crack or Chip and things of that nature and so I decided to spend a little bit more this time uh, I paid hundred and twenty dollars for this product it is for the front and passenger seat, the driver's side and passenger front seats only. They do have the full set, which uh, you can put in the back of your vehicle. And I think that's close to, uh, I want to say like $200 for the whole set or maybe like 170 or something like that. But this product is by a company called Lucky Man Club. And this is the actual instructions. Again, these are in color. I've been lucking up with stuff I've been buying lately by getting colored instructions. So, uh, yeah, the instructions came with it. It came in a very neat little carry-on bag or carry bag, which you won't be carrying them anywhere, but I just thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, Lucky Man Club. They do sell these on Amazon. If you just probably type in Lucky Man car seat covers, they'll probably pop up. But look at the actual craftsmanship of this thing man it's it's really uh it's really good quality from any other seat cover that I, i've personally ever bought in my lifetime so it's very very simple to install i've already installed the driver's side i'll show you that in just a second this is the passenger side basically comes with two pieces of elastic for the back so when you put it on it's actually going to look like this um it just slips on the actual back seat of the car. So this is the back part, and it actually has compartments for the back as well. Uh, this part right here, you would put over the headrest. And what's cool about this is it actually zips at the top, so you can zip it to enclose it once you put the headrest here. And then this is your actual front seat cover. So your back would go here, your butt here. But this is very, very high quality. This is not real leather. This is like a synthetic leather. But I will say, even as for a synthetic leather, this is this is nice. Even with the stitching, the craftsmanship, the quality of it. Um, the SR5 Premium 4Runner that I had had leather like this. It wasn't real leather. It was like a synthetic premium leather. This feels exactly like it. it feels exactly like it. Now, I can do a, um, you know, a, a follow-up review, I would say, in about six months. Or a year just to see how well they're holding up afterwards probably six months I'd say but just the feel and, and, and thickness of this thing compared to other seat covers I bought yeah I think this is definitely going to hold up for a while and so very easy to install um, basically once you put it on the seat you attach uh, where's it at <clears throat> these two oops, these two clips call these the chucks you put the chuck uh, underneath right here so these go into the seat and then you snap in and make sure it connects and then you put your hooks on the front two parts of this right here and then um, it connects under the seat uh, where you're sitting and that's it simple as that it takes it took me I came home from work it literally took me five minutes to install the driver the driver side and now that I know exactly how to do it it'll probably take me three minutes to do this one so yeah this is a very very nice seat cover and again it is it is kind of costly but I think it would definitely uh, 
hold up over time. On the back, it shows the rear seat installments. Now, I didn't get the rear seat cover for my truck because I don't think I'm really going to need it. But if you did, I mean, if I did or you do, um, it shows you how to hook it up to the rear seats as well. And so, yeah, it even actually comes with the headrest cover as well. So you just fold it down like this, and then this is your actual uh, head, headrest cover um, as well. So really, really cool. I'm going to show you real quick on the camera. I'll take you outside and show you how it looks once it's installed. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how it looks once it's installed. And this is it. Man, it even smells like new leather in here. Um, so yeah, this is the headrest. You can see really clean cut look. You can see how it fits right here in the front. Cushioned as well. I mean, not a thick cushion, but you know, good enough cushion. And just how it fits on the seat. If I was someone that just sat in this truck for the first time and didn't really like look closely, I would have thought this is actually the uh, factory leather in this car. So yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, the detail and the stitching is, is awesome, man. I, I, I'm really, uh, really impressed with this thing right here. And so yeah, hook up two clips down below, uh, two clips underneath here and then you're set so again the lucky man club car seat covers um, they come in black gray they come in black with blue stitching like the stitching in here and then they come with black and red stitching but of course I have an orange truck so blue or, or red wouldn't work for me but um, the all black looks really good so yeah man just wanted to do a quick uh, quick review of this and um, and yeah, I'll put the link down in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Just make sure that if you do purchase, you check the actual um, the chart to make sure if um, if it fits your vehicle or not. Because they do have some of these do not fit every single make and model car, so you have to check the chart, and the chart will actually show you if it fits your vehicle or not. So other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.